Now, hazy skies are hanging over Minnesota's Arrowhead. This is a live look at Duluth, which is under an air quality alert until morning. Smoke from Canadian wildfires has made outdoor air unhealthy to breathe. That's a problem that has become too common across all four corners of the state. In fact, one recent estimate shows that wildfire smoke killed 77 people in Minnesota last year and more than 130 in Wisconsin. Next weather meteorologist Adam Del Rosso explains how scientists hope to use a new tool to target trouble spots. Headaches, burning eyes, and difficulty breathing are becoming all too common with bout after bout of wildfire smoke. In the most extreme cases, even death could be a result. Wildfire smoke is harmful to your health, and those harms can occur and do occur during a smoke wave. Before this, normally we would have to wait months or even years to get those kind of uh, estimates of how bad the smoke wave was. To help link those fatalities and hospitalizations to the harmful air quality, scientists at Cornell University have created a new tool combining data from the EPA, CDC, NOAA, and the Census Bureau. The goal, to help officials make real-time decisions even faster to protect the hardest hit communities. Emergency managers, public health people, people working in hospitals, uh, and the general public understand is when does that smoke, when is the level getting so high that, goodness, we really need to take action now. We know all too well how bad the air quality was last year. This toll estimates 133 deaths in Wisconsin and 77 in Minnesota in 2023. New York, Pennsylvania, and Michigan top the list with a combined estimate of more than 650 deaths. The future will be smokier, and so we really need to work on how we're going to protect ourselves and our communities from that wildfire smoke. Adam Del Rosso, WCCO News. Hayden says there has never been a federal disaster declaration because of smoke. He hopes this extra data will change that and provide extra resources and funding when it's needed.